back to Cooking with Gloria. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious avocado roasted salsa that I know you guys are going to love and enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. Aguacates, cilantro, tomatoes, onion, jalapeños, and a little bit of water. This is everything we need to make this delicious avocado roasted salsa. So let's get started. I want to start first with the veggies. I have the jalapeños, tomato, onion, and cilantro. Let's rinse them through running water because you know that this part is very important and it only takes a couple of minutes and this is completely done. Now I am ready to start slicing my onion and I'm only using one fourth of onion for now because I'm gonna go and take it to the stove and start grilling all my veggies. Of course that I'm adding the garlic cloves here too. On my skillet, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna add the tomatoes, the jalapeños, the piece of onion, and the garlic cloves. I'm gonna let them start getting nice and grilled. And you know something? Let's go and let's continue by slicing the half a onion. And I wanna dice it very small, very tiny so that it will incorporate completely into the salsa when the salsa is ready. Well, here I am ready to transfer it to a plate and I am going to continue with the cilantro. I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna dice the cilantro very finely, of course, taking my time. And once this is completely done, well, then I am ready to transfer it to a plate. Let's have all these ingredients ready so when the salsa is ready, you are ready to start incorporating these delicious flavors into it. My garlic cloves are done, and I'm gonna just start by flipping the jalapenos, the onion, and the tomato so they start releasing the delicious flavor. Look at this. Of course, that this side goes down first because it's a little more Part, that part of the tomato after a couple minutes everything is nice and grilled and now I am ready to remove it one at a time of course this salsa comes out amazing you are you guys are going to love it okay now I am ready to start adding all the veggies here into my blender of course I'm gonna start by adding the tomatoes the jalapenos the piece of the onion and the garlic cloves to this i'm going to add some water about one cup of water and my salt remember that the salt is to taste i have the himalaya salt but of course you could have add the salt you have at home and now let's just go and blend it completely and it really doesn't take too long Okay, once it's nice and blended, then I'm gonna transfer it to this glass cup and look at the texture. It's nice and thick. It's really blended, but it's really nice and thick. And that's exactly how you want it. And now I am ready to add the cilantro. I am ready to add the onion. And I am going to incorporate this completely into the salsa until everything is really incorporated look at this now it's nice and chunky huh? you could see the little pieces of the onion let me taste it okay perfect i don't need to add any more salt and now what i'm going to do i'm going to reserve it and i am ready to add my lemon juice the reason that i am adding the lemon juice it's so that the salsa stays good for about one week 
it'll be great for one week but to tell you the truth here at home it really doesn't last two days i have the aguacates here and i'm going to slice them through the middle and look at these these are organic aguacates and when i say organic it's because i have a tree of aguacates here at home so now i am ready to slice it and cube it because you want to make sure that this salsa has a lot of aguacate and every time you put your spoon inside you get pieces of aguacate this is the size you want to make sure that all your aguacate is cut in little squares just like this once this is done now i am ready to start adding the pieces of the aguacate straight in to the salsa and of course i'm not leaving anything behind okay you want to make sure that you take everything out completely and now i'm just going to incorporate it really slowly so that you could see the chunks of the aguacate inside like i said every time you put the spoon inside and you bring it out you get a lot of pieces of aguacate and if you have one or two that large just take them apart and look at this i am ready to enjoy this delicious salsa of course i made a lot because here at home this is a salsa everybody enjoys it's not too spicy it's just the perfect blend you know something when you eat this salsa i am sure you guys are going to love it and now i am ready for the presentation i can't wait to enjoy it so i'll see you in just a little bit Roasted salsa. You know something? I don't have the other plate because my family is already enjoying this delicious salsa. But this is the part I really love and enjoy tasting my recipes. And the best thing is that every time you dunk a tostada inside, there's always pieces of aguacate. So let's see how this came out. And like I always, I wish you guys were here to taste it with me. Mmm amazing but yet you know something it's not too spicy where you say oh my god this is really spicy it's just perfection you need to make it at home you need to enjoy it with your family and i know your mouth is watering already look at this with all this aguacate who can say no to this tostada excuse me mm. I hope my friends you enjoy it and make it at home. Remember, this salsa comes out amazing every time. If you like and love my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make a delicious recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying this delicious roasted aguacate salsa. See you on my next delicious recipe. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.